Lissa Productions. Welcome back to Experimental Physics. So for the experiments involving the temperature dependence of resistance in various materials, one of the temperature baths that you'll use is liquid nitrogen. And we need to spend a little bit of time talking about cryogenic fluid safety. So you see I'm wearing some safety goggles and uh, low temperature gloves. What we'll do, uh, the students will not actually dispense the liquid nitrogen themselves. You'll just bring your insulating container and place it. The reason for putting it on the floor is uh, that minimizes the chance of splashing the liquid nitrogen into your eyes while you're dispensing it. So one of your instructors will do the dispensing of the liquid nitrogen. We store it in the smaller container for uh, more handling. But then we'll just pour some of this into the container for you. And slowly fill it up to the top. But once the liquid stops boiling, then you can pick it up and carry it to your station, put it uh, securely in the little ring stand to minimize the chance of having it spill on you. Uh, cryogenic fluids are a real hazard. You can get some serious frostbite if you're exposed uh, for a prolonged period of time to the liquid nitrogen. So we want to handle it safely and minimize the chance of injury. When you've finished using your container of liquid nitrogen, you can either pass it to another team who might be a little farther behind, or you can have a little bit of fun with it, but I want you to have fun safely. An interesting thing to do is to pour it out slowly onto the floor, and it begins to vaporize, and the little beads of liquid will uh, squiggle across the floor on a thin film of vapor. And it, if you're going to do this, be sure that there aren't any other students around with their feet nearby to get them too cold.